The Olden World, written by Tsar Yoshi. Chapter 520. Inquisitions are inevitable. Valet blinked, a desperate golden griffin suddenly hurtling toward her and her group. She tensed, but meltdown was up front, and the bird seemed to have eyes only for her. The griffin had a sword and prepared a slice. Meltdown set her hooves and turned her shoulder, preparing to catch the swing in her radiator blades. Valet took a step back. This shouldn't be her fight, and suddenly blinked, eyes widening, as the griffin drew close enough for her to recognize the sword in the night. Black blade? Triangular hole in the hilt? How? It didn't matter. That sword could cut through any armor like it was air, and she had less than a second to act. Swoosh! Valet flapped and shot past Meltdown with a burst of speed that took both her and the griffin by surprise. Her cuter mark flared, slowing time. This griffin was Belinda, one of the pirates, the ones Gazelle had sent packing and she had met in the tavern. Good, she owed her a punch or two. Valet threw herself into a forward-moving backflip, hind legs coming out from below and smashing into Belinda's belly, ruining her trajectory. With slow motion and hands precision, she saw the blade swinging for her face, whipped her forehoofs to the sides, brought them around, and clapped the sword, catching it by the flat of the blade between her hooves. Time returned to normal, and she finished the backflip, suplexing the sword to the ground and kicking Belinda aside, wrenching it from her grasp. Pah! Valet spat, getting up and kicking the sword up into a wing grip. She turned and glared at the surprised meltdown. Not a sword you want to get hit by. Belinda was already struggling back upright, one shoulder clearly wounded a while ago. She screeched and meltdown frowned, her giant radiator fan starting to spin a little faster. Flash! There was a surge of sapphire magic and Shinespark was there. Stop fighting, she commanded, hitting the ground with an armored fud. We're trying to get out of here alive, not make more enemies. Sparky? Valet blinked and gave a crooked grin, spotting the matching sheaf on her armor. Hey, long time no see. You really need to take better. Squaw! Belinda barreled toward Meltdown again in a reckless three-legged charge, propelling herself with her wings and raising her good talent to slash with. Meltdown's fans roared, causing Belinda to wince and stagger, a few wisps of smoke suddenly curling from the tips of her feathers. Even well out of her line of facing, Valet cringed from the heat. Oh, bananas, what the... The assault lessened, but didn't abate, Meltdown slowly clanking forward toward the overheated griffin. Belinda faced her with an expression that was anything other than accepting death with serenity and tried again to force herself upright. Meltdown didn't even lift a hoof to strike. Valet sat by Shinespark's side, silently passing back the sword and wondering if she was about to watch someone be lit on fire with a stare. Neither of their parties, Bad Ponies or Golbez's crew, moved to get closer. Belinda staggered, panting. Meltdown held her position, alarms blaring in the background. And suddenly there was a shattering sound far above, and Valet's cutie mark instantly registered a warning stab. She ducked with shines out of the way of a quick rain of shards, glancing up at the hole in the observation window under the bridge, and the dark shadow soaring from it. Swoosh! With cat-like silence, Gazelle was there, and suddenly, he was very loud. Wait! Wait, wait! Wait, wait, wait! He landed between Meltdown and Belinda, back to the pirate, smiling disarmingly with a full set of jagged teeth. Pause! What was the safe word again, Melty? Meltdown's fan slowed. Hello, Gazelle. Belinda took every advantage of the respite, straightening up and drawing a scimitar, then brutally chopping toward Gazelle's back with a silent, stealthy scream. Smash! Gazelle lashed out with one hind leg, slamming a paw into Belinda's neck, not even bothering to look at his adversary as she was hurled into the cabin wall. He shook his head. Trying to attack me while I'm bailing you out. Pirate stupidity is so amusing sometimes. <sighs> Belinda winced, her throat sporting four pricks of blood where Gazelle's claws had hit her. Valet stood her ground next to Shinespark, trying not to draw attention to herself, but she needn't have bothered. Gazelle turned to Belinda with a purr, then back to Meltdown. Spare that one if you would. She's feisty. 
He flicked his tail. I think she hates me, too. I was hoping to see her barge in someday yelling challenges toward me, not meet her end so soon and ingloriously. Very well. Meltdown shrugged in her armor, then backed off. The tension radiating off both sides made Valet wince. Her bad pony Pyrus would be fine. Probably. Gazelle had left them to her, and Meltdown hadn't tried to stop them from following. But the crew that had been with Shinespark had a vendetta against their species. Belinda was down for the count, the captain was still up, but looked injured. How could always do something stupid? Her cunimer tingled with the sensation of a fight that could still nearly begin. You're not a very smart rival, Gazelle purred, focusing again on Belinda. Please run. Please. I'm practically drunk with anticipation and not about to sacrifice my wonderful sea battle just to get you out of the way. The rest of your friends, too. He blinked across at Golbez, Howe, Neon, Nova, and Granada. Go on. Shoo. Take a hike. Get, um... His pupil slits narrowed in interest, blinking between the pirates and Shines Park, and he grinned. What's with the identical main style, ladies? Granada froze before the Sphinx's sharp grin. Uh, nothing? Valet internally groaned. Gazelle was by Granada's side in a heartbeat, suddenly coiled around her and humming. You know each other, don't you? I can see that look. He winked back at Shinespark. She's scared that I'm here. Huh, she must have something to be afraid of. He was suddenly back by Shinespark. I'm on your side, you know that? The Empire is my empire. You came to clear up that confusion about Iron Ridge, you know that? He nudged her armored side. You don't think we'd sacrifice someone who's definitely not your friend to Garshiva for piracy, would you? You're not doing a very good job of inspiring confidence in that, Shinespark sighed. Yes, Granada is my friend, and if you're going for her, you're going to have to go for me. How bold! Gazelle stuck his face straight in hers, then paced happily back to a neutral position. Don't worry, I wasn't thinking of that at all. But since you brought it up, end of chapter 520.